Do you want a program to make games like Sword Art Online but don't know where to start? Stick around, I've got you covered. Hello Virtual Dreamers, Gregory here. Making a game like Sword Art Online or Gun Game Online is a huge job, and if you want to be a part of something as big as a VR MMORPG's programming team, your course of action is going to differ from someone who wants to make something like a phone app or a website. I'm working on a big project, and I'm going to need help, so getting people like you, who haven't started yet, on the right track is a priority for me. Now that you know my stake in this, let me give you the rundown on the language you're going to have to learn, what you should do to learn it, and what you should do afterwards once you've done so. We're in this together, so do your best to follow along, okay? Good. Now let's start with the programming language you're going to need to learn for big game development. C++. For those of you who don't know what a programming language is, it's essentially a set of codes that you use in order to tell your computer to do stuff. There are lots of programming languages, and if you look up how to program, you're going to be presented with an entire list of them. So instead of having you go around trying to figure out which one's for you, I'm saving you the trouble and just telling you that you need to learn C++ if you want to get in on big projects like VR MMORPGs. Got it? To give you an idea why, most AAA studios create the engines that they use for video games using C++ as the backend. In addition, popular tools like Unreal Engine 4 are built on C++, so if you learn C++, you'll have access and be able to work with large teams right from the get-go, and you'll be able to utilize the tools that are going to be the basis for my own project, since I'm building it using Unreal Engine 4. So if you want to be able to contribute to building our castle in the sky, learning C++ is your surest bet from a programming standpoint. Also, you learn C++ as a result of this, so yeah, you're going to be getting a pretty marketable skill. That's a nice bonus there. Now that you know what language you're going to be using, the next step is to figure out how you're going to learn it. And in that regard, here's my recommendation. Just follow a tutorial from beginning to end. There's no shortcut around this, people. I'll plug in some tutorials that you can follow in the description section for this video, as well as the UE4 documentation and the book that I'm using. But if you want to learn how to code when you don't know at all, you're just going to need some kind of guidance. You don't need to pay for it either, though. I started learning C++ from The New Boston here on YouTube when I was 12 on my brother's e-machine pre-built desktop alone with no other help. I only recently had to take a structured C++ programming course at college, and you want to know what the funny thing is? I learned less in that course in 4 months at 849 of my dollars than I learned from the new Boston for free in a weekend. Do it in school if you need to take a course like it anyway or later on, and consider buying more advanced material if you'd like. But know that there are great resources for you if you're willing to put in the work and that you shouldn't need to be paying at this point in the game. Once you've finished up your introductory course, tutorial, and all the other resources that are available to you, here comes my final suggestion. Start making small games. And note, when I say small games, I'm talking Pong, Asteroids, and Checkers. Not even Minecraft, Angry Birds, or Super Mario Bros here. This one sucks, but I'm telling you this from a personal place. I've got thousands of hours, people put into Unreal Engine, Unity, and learning C++ and such, but do you see a game from me anywhere? The answer to that is no, and it burns me to say this, but I've been a sucker to making things bigger than I alone can make for way too long. We're talking 11 years too long, people. I don't want you to make that kind of screw up, so do me a favor and start with one of those games I mentioned before. If you can't even make Pong, how are you going to make Sword Art Online or Gun Gale Online? It shouldn't take you long, just do it on a weekend on your free time and then move on. If you did it, good for you, you're on the right track. If you couldn't though, now you've got a greater appreciation for what kind of work you've got ahead of you. 
If you need an extra push though, I'm going to be working on a series on my second channel, Marcus Dahl Greg, where I spend weekends making these kinds of games in Unreal Engine from start to finish so you can get a better idea of what it takes to do so. If I can do that and still be willing to work on larger projects, you can too. So get started everyone, you're gonna be learning C++, you're gonna be getting the basics out of the way for free, and you're gonna be making your first games. If you got that covered, I seriously want to work with you. And with that, we're just about done here, everyone. Be sure to subscribe to the channel in order to keep up with all the efforts being done in order to develop major VR MMOs like Sword Art Online and Gun Gale Online, as well as to check out my second channel in order to keep up with those streams that I mentioned about earlier, and to subscribe to this one if you haven't, because again, we're doing a lot of good stuff here. And if you want to join the community at large, be sure to hit up our Discord server, where we have long discussions about all things virtual reality, high-end tech, and such on our various different channels. We'll be glad to have you on there. Till next time, my fellow adventurers and dreamers, this has been Gregory, logging out.